Yeah, I'm here with uh, June Jones, the new head coach at SMU, and we're, we're talking run and shoot, which I, I can promise you as an old defensive coach is one of the two toughest offenses to defend along with the wishbone. So I, I know a lot of these uh, defensive coaches in Conference USA are nervous right now about the <laughs> run and shoot. But I think the first thing we want to do is just talk about the concept. A lot of offenses, variable formations, mm -hmm. give you a lot of different formation packages. In the run and shoot, you're four wides. And really, two formations. Could you just take us through the two formations we that are, you guys use? Basically, and, and uh, just to show you how simple we are, uh, this is our base formation. In fact, we don't even have a name for that. When we come out of the huddle, if I don't say anything, that's how they line up. And uh, the, only other, the only other thing that we do, the only other thing that we do is call trips right, and trips trips left so that being trips right yeah but let's just take me through this so this is just two by two mm -hmm. two wide receivers balanced on each side quarterback in the shotgun running back offset and this is three wide receivers to one side and one on the back side but take me through also not a lot of motion you know do, do you take in motion receivers from two by two to three by one and if you do, why? Or if you don't, why don't you believe in doing it? You know, we used, to, we used to do that a lot, and that was a base part of it. Probably when, when uh, uh, it first came in, we would run, Mouse would, uh, when he first put this in, we would run motion to try to, to see whether it was man or zone, you know, what type of man, all those type of things. By and large, basically, our offense is designed to read uh, coverage on the snap of the football so you have the right thing called every time. Yeah, and, the, it, it, and also crowd noise, all those things, defense is shifting before the ball snap. Oh, that's does not affect yeah. any mechanics of your offense. So you're going to snap the football and then convert routes, and the quarterback makes decisions on what the defense ends up in after the ball. No question. That's, that's basically what we do. Now, June, if you could just take us through the first route that you implement in the run and shoot in spring practice. Basically, we're going to take a uh, split, uh, nor what we call a normal split, and he has a forced outside release. This guy here is going to take a jab step, put it in the flat, and build it at three to five, five yards. He's also going to run off. Now, the uh, middle receiver is going to read the coverage, and he has one of probably six or seven options, uh, the first of which is to go vertical up the field and then read the coverage. If it goes to three deep, then he's going to widen to the, whoever the flat defender is and slip him on the inside part and look for the football. Well, in let that me crease. stop you right there because you brought up something. <clears throat> Shotgun snap. Mm -hmm. This is a three deep coverage where they have three deep players. How does the quarterback know that it is three deep? I mean, is the quarterback looking at the same thing that the receivers are looking at, or is the quarterback looking at one specific thing to realize it is three deep? Well, he has to look at the, the whoever he anticipates the flat defender to be to begin with, and there's of course there's a couple of different ways to get that. The stub could be the flat defender, and then he's down right. replacing him. So he, he has to find whoever that is, just like he does. Yeah. Uh, he's going to do that so as he catches, snap As he catches the shotgun snap, right? as soon as he catches the ball, or his, is his eyes going to who he thinks is the flat defender? Right, player? exactly. And then that guy will dictate. It, on, 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 sometimes they'll show you two or four, and then that guy kicks down. Right. Right. So he's got to see all that. Right. If that safety goes back, then he knows he goes to the next guy to read. Right. The corner becomes the flat defender. Right. As the route starts... The outside receiver has the takeoff. Mm -hmm. The inside receiver has the flat. Right. Just take me through the number two receiver and the choices he has based on how that strong safety plays. But basically, it's uh, on just three deep zone. It's going to be that or that. We're either going to catch it right there or that or that. I mean, basically, we're going to just keep moving to holes. Right. Regardless of how they play cover three, you're going to have an answer. We should have a hole. Yeah. All right, this is uh, the go route uh, that we just diagrammed, and this is going to the left. And uh, as you can see, we're in trips to the left, and uh, just talking about coverage, we're not sure if this is going to be man at this point or three deep or two deep, but now it's going to clear up on the snap of the ball as our quarterback and our slot receiver running up the seam is going to read the flat defender who becomes the strong safety. And as you can see... The strong safety is going to either take one or two. He's either going to take the seam 
or he's going to take the flat. And in this case, he took the flat, and uh, the quarterback on his fourth step going to the left delivers the football. He knows to look as soon as he clears that guy. Right. He's not going to look for the ball prior to that. Right. So as he goes up the field, he fe- gets a feel, and as he clears the flat, de- flat defender, his eyes come back to the quarterback. All things equal, would you rather have a team blitz you, or would you rather have a team defend you? You know, run? we've seen everything, and we've seen we've played, uh, you know, teams that blitzed us the whole game, and we've scored a lot of points, and we played zone the whole game right. and scored a lot of points. Uh, I think if I'd, I had my druthers, I'd rather have you come after us yeah. because when you miss the tackle, it's a touchdown. Exactly. <laughs> what is up, folks? All right, let's talk some go route. We heard what the great June Jones and the not so great former Notre Dame head coach Bob Davey had to say about the go route and the run and shoot. Let's put it to work. How do we create this route concept in Madden 12? It's easy enough in NCAA 12 because you have a run and shoot playbook. But you don't have that in Madden, so you have to do some hot routing to get to it. Um, the easiest play to do this out of is curls. Um, I'm, I happen to be in the Bears playbook, but any playbook, every playbook has this either out of shotgun trips, shotgun wide trips, or um, under center, um, single back trips or wide trips. So either way, you'll be good to go. Curls. And we're going to go up against random defenses. And let me show you what I'm doing here. Automatics are the back blocking, the two wide receivers, the two outside receivers are going vertical clear out. The flat read is the tight end or the um, H, it, it, depending on what formation you're in. And the seam read is my triangle, depending on what I think I have in front of me. Pre-snap and post-snap will determine what I do with him. I'll either keep him on his post route. I'll either send him straight up the seam there. Shallow in deeper in stop route if I sent some kind of man heat or zone heat coming I'll slant him or drag him like it looks like here I'm getting a blitz look here so I'll just pop it in there like that really quick and you know just get a short gain and I'm reading seam flat and also, of course, keep an eye on the vertical stretches. If someone is playing press coverage and they beat the press, you know, hit it. Dang it, Sanchez. I see a safety in the middle of the field there. So I'm going to have him break his route off short. If the flat route is there, just hit it, get what you can get, and make them defend that flat route. Okay, so just safety rolled up there. Blitz and easy pickings there for that. Safety rolled up. Nah, that's not what I want. Throw the in in front of that safety. Don't go deep on him. If you're reading it properly, you should have someone popping free. One of those two. Quick hitter there. Now remember how I talked about finding the flat defender?
he has to first account for this receiver here, which frees up the, the uh, flat. Will the field closed again. Send him on a stop. Now that time you see how the defender hit the flat route. He makes a beeline right to the flat route. And that opens up a void here for the stop. Just use your eyes. Against cover three you'll have that depending on what you know version of cover three it is. You also have the intermediate end, but check out of that post route if you see a, a safety rolled up in the middle of the field. Now this receiver has been having some trouble with that. Like same look here. I think this is a man blitz. I was right, but I didn't have it. I didn't. I didn't have the slant open there. Now he's been having some problems here with that post getting open. So I'm going to send him straight to kind of clear out a little bit. And again against man, easy. Now, you're probably thinking to yourself, well, what if they keep on what if they key on that slot wide receiver? Well, a little wrinkle you can throw in there is a couple of things. You keep the um, Z receiver, the circle receiver here, as a curl route, and you have go curl. Let's get him out of there. There's go curl. You release him. He breaks for the flat, and you have a void here in the curl route. Another thing you can do this is called Go Special. Random play. And all that is is that the um, H and the Y flip assignments. The slot receiver becomes your flat read and X becomes your seam read. Like so. All special is is that at the um, H and the Y they flip flop. Do that again. Oh, tight fit. <laughs> so that's special. And that is a brief introduction to the makeshift Madden run and shoot and creating 60 go go curl and go special and I'll show you a choice slide HY option and switch as well hope you all enjoy talk to y'all later peace